Today we are changing a condenser coil on a train gas pack. The current coil is leaking and the system is under warranty I believe. So we're going to go ahead and throw a condenser coil on it and get her back up and cooling. The customer has been waiting for two weeks. So she'll be happy when this gets finished. Since I am driving the little transit matchbox car, I actually had to have this condenser coil delivered on a full-size pickup for me. And I was doing this work on a Saturday. Since I was on call anyway, they figured I might as well have something to do as if I didn't run until midnight that night. But unboxing the new coil and we will get started taking the old coil out. Of course, Train loves their spine fins, as you will see here in just a second. At first glance, you don't really see anything different in regards to the old coil or the new one we can't see what's going on inside the big loop there we've got our leaker not a hundred percent sure exactly where it was leaking I did not do the leak search but you can tell that there's oil residue there and when I looked inside I noticed a little bit of a difference um, you can see that they don't look exactly the same. As always, we have nitrogen flowing as we are unbrazing the old coil and doesn't take a whole lot just a couple of fittings right here underneath the top of the unit pretty straightforward stuff I was pleasantly surprised at how simple the condenser coil came off and the new one went on. I was expecting that it would be difficult since I was working by myself and was very happy to notice that it wasn't that hard.
facility is surrounded by a highly trained team of 130 Black Ops snipers. Well, there you have it, replacing a condenser coil on a train package unit. Didn't really take that long. I was a little bit concerned for the fact that it was a condenser coil and I was trying to run this solo, but went pretty well. Done within three hours, so I think we did all right. The condenser coil I don't know exactly what happened, but we got a heat pump condenser coil for the same size unit, and I don't think it's going to be a major issue because the only difference is that there is a TXV, but it will be going backwards and not affected. We got a bi-flow filter dryer on it, so we're straight there. Now we couldn't go the other way. If it was a heat pump, we couldn't put a um, straight AC condenser on it. Um, 
at least not very effectively. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you on the next video.